Hey, I'm Josh Fralick, and I'm here with Dustin Sanchez, and we're talking uh, JP Precision Rifles out here today. Um, you got something pretty cool that I want to take a look at. Yeah. Oh, grab that guy. So, if I can pick it up, she's a little heavier <laughs> than I'm used to. Uh, so, we have uh, the JP MR19 here. And uh, cool. bolt action. Yeah. And I, and I I have to tell you, I love gas guns, right? but uh, this guy is, it is fun to shoot, very smooth. I like the folding stock on it. That chassis is uh, sick. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, this guy's chambered in a six Creedmoor. Okay. And um, yeah, it's just fun. It's 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 really nice. Got a full Arca Swiss that runs, even a built-in Arca Swiss on the bottom. Yep. For the part of the chassis. And uh, I say you got those weights, I right? Do. JP weights on the handguard. Tell me about the comp. So uh, I'm a recoil eliminator guy. I've been yeah. running recoil eliminators on all of my guns uh, forever. And so when I see a JP different comp than what I shoot, I'm curious because I've never even tested it. What What do you think of that thing? I like it. So shot it a couple of times. I like it. Um, I do like the recoil eliminator as well. Okay. Um, but what I particularly like about the uh, large large profile here yep. is that I can turn it if I wanted to tune it a little bit. Oh, okay. Yep. yep. Just yep. like you would on, on some of your other rifles if you want to turn it a little bit, cant it. Yep. And then I've got some holes on the top. Now on my, my 308, I actually, at one point I, I drilled out a hole because I wanted to get a little bit more down pressure. Sure. Um, so I kind of look at them as it can be tunable in my head, but um, no, I, I, I like it. it it's also, worth trying? It's yeah. something I should give a shot? Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of it. Okay. What kind of glass you got there? We're running the Vortex Razor, uh, four and a half to 27. Yep. Uh, and JP mount, those yep, mounts got are the, awesome. Yeah. yeah. I think you're running more of the extended. No, I think we're both running extended, right? Yeah, I'll grab mine here in a minute. Yeah, but no. Um, yeah, like I've got the Timney trigger in there. I went with, uh, who is that, MDT or MD I think something? So. Their, their uh, vertical grip, I really like it. So yeah, it's, it's just a fun little gun. I spent some time down at BSR, so Brian Whalen was able to get me tuned in and dialed in with my stock here. So it looks a little goofy compared to what I'm used to. Well, I mean, but it works great. look at the adjustability. That thing, yeah. That it, if there's anything that stock has, it's adjustability. You can dial that in just right. I would I would love to have Brian show me how to set my stock up for me without just making assumptions like, yeah, well, that's good. Yep. Yep, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, in, in uh, taking that class, I learned a lot. And this was probably one of the biggest things I took away from it was actually really? setting up your stock for your rifle. Okay, lesson learned. I should probably talk to someone like Brian, go down to the ranch maybe and get set up, do it right. Yeah. I'll show you what I did. <sighs> So mine's a little heavier than yours, but it's a gas gun, right? So I've got uh, the uh, 6.5 Creedmoor big body AR-10, if you will. Uh, and I've got the same handguard weights, maybe a couple more than you do. Heavier contour barrel, I believe, because you've got yep. the proof in there. I've got the JP. I do have the recoil eliminator on the gun. Again, I run it on everything. Um, you've motivated me to try that just I, I want to make sure I can see my trace. Yep. And I'm borderline, depending on the position that I've built, uh, on if I get to see it or not. And so it's worth a shot. Yeah. Why wouldn't I? If JP makes another comp that's awesome, I want to try it. And then uh, run the JP mount for my optics, obviously. Uh, these things are super rigid, super solid. I've tried a bunch of them uh, that are out there, and this is what I run. And then I've actually got the 3 to 18 on here right now. I'm waiting on my four and a half. Uh, to 27, they are back ordered like everything in the industry. <laughs> you can't buy them. So anyway, I've been sitting around waiting, but, uh, and then I got an offset dot on there to mess with everybody that's at the PRS match. So <laughs> yeah. I was gonna ask, <laughs> have you used it? No, <laughs> so I've got an offset dot because I've got an offset dot. And so, uh, I mean, if you, you know me and my history about offset dots, uh, four years ago, everybody thought I was nuts because I run offset dots right next to my primary dots on PCC. What do you need two dots for? Well, I need two dots because uh, there's a good reason. I can shoot around corners real nice. I've got redundancy, I've got all these things. And so now when I have a gun, it gets two dots or it gets two optics. And so I've so got that on there. I know you did that kind of a, as a little thing to mess with people, yes. but I have seen people with offsets yeah. and they use it as uh, when they're just kind of panning, they're using their offset, okay. and when they find the target in their offset, now they're switching over to their primary optic. Okay. 
So I talked to John Paul. I was in the shop, I was talking to John and he goes, what you need isn't this. He goes, you can leave that on there if you still wanna mess with people and that's okay. I probably will, <laughs> I probably will. But what he's saying is I need a direct mount yep. so that I have it right above the uh, scope. So uh, when I come up, I can come up onto my dot real fast, yep. real fast target acquisition and then just drop and build my cheek weld and then shoot. And so this gun will probably have three optics on it. <laughs> and I don't, again, we want weight. I want weight on this gun, right? Which so. is a cool thing about the mounts, like yeah. my mounts and your mounts, they have them because the JP, they actually have it where you can mount a, a red dot on top. You can, yep. And that seems like the perfect situation. I've done it before on like uh, razor spotting scopes. Mm -hmm. You put them in these rigs and then you put a little dot on top. And then, I mean, spotting scopes, you're talking about crazy power, crazy magnification. Yep. I wanna see that dot on the target and then look down and it's there, I'm gonna do that. So I was, what I've done, because I don't have that on top clearly, but yeah. I would actually find in my notes, you know, I've got a target at thousand yards at this big oak tree. Yeah. So when I'm panning, I'm looking over the top of this. That's good. Over my turret, and then when I see it, then I just come down and then I can get it in my field of view there. But I love optics. I'm, no, I'm saying you should do it. <laughs> okay. don't, don't let me stop. I was just oh, yeah, wouldn't, giving wouldn't. you my thing because I can't. <laughs> I can't do Josh Freilich there. Okay, okay. And then obviously adjustable gas. It's a gas gun. That's adjustable. Uh, and a thermal in there, a thermal dissipator because I want to pull that barrel off or the heat off the barrel as fast as I can. And then old school. I run old school PRS mm -hmm. stocks. I always have. And Gen One, Gen Two. I buy every one I can find online. That's super clean. I've got a few now. Uh, and. Um, Overall, just an awesome shooting gas gun. I shot some pigs with it last year. Uh, I'm gonna shoot some matches with it sooner than later here. And it's pretty much set up the way I want it. I have one last question for you. Yep, yep. What yep. carrier are you running? Uh, low mass. It is a low mass? Yep. Nice. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't want full mass. Again, the lighter I can make the internals on the gun on a gas gun, the more likely that I can see the trace yeah. and that I can see my impact on, on, the, on the target because there's less reciprocating mass in the gun, which means I need to run less gas. Yep. So if I can run less gas and I can see my hits on target, I can adjust. Yep. That's what I want. And that's what I, I like about the bolt gun, especially the Omar 19 from JP, is I can shoot, yep. see my tray, see my impact, then rack it. I mean, if you can do that consistently on your shots, uh, you know if you hit the center of the plate or the left yeah. edge of the plate, and then when you shoot the next smaller target, you can shoot the center of the plate. Like yeah. that's it, that's it, what you need. It's a way to re read your wind on your target. Gotta have it, gotta have it, yep. So I'm, I'm working toward getting this there. I'm gonna try that that break uh, and see if I which one I like better. This one's good, but if you're saying I could potentially adjust it yeah. by tuning those top holes maybe a little bit or things like that, I'll play with it. Uh, I don't know. I think either one of us, we got winners. I got a gas gun winner. You got the bolt gun of choice. That's what I'd shoot. Yeah, I like it. I'm, I'm a big fan. Um, I do like how I could add the weights on there and get some more weight on there. So That's a missing gap that I've got right there too. I do need a level on it. A little bubble level or something. Yeah. Now this, this chassis does have a bubble level actually. I should bring that up. It does have a bubble level in the, uh, in the chassis. So I have two bubble levels on here. Okay. Uh, they're both like, if I'm getting into position, I can go look at the chassis. Yep. And once I'm in position and I'm just panning around, then I can look, open my left eye and see this guy very clearly. Got it. So. I like it. Super sick. Cool guns. I like cool guns. I like cool guns too. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot that today. I'm gonna shoot you. So it's gonna work out great. <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully you learned something from some of the gear that we're running. Uh, all these products are available on the JP website and uh, they'll get you squared away with some cool guns, cool gear, get you ready for your next match.